cafe terrace at night to Madam X. There are so many secrets hidden within historical paintings that I'm dying to share with you all. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and here are your top 10 bizarre things hidden inside of paintings, part two. In our number 10 spot, we have the separation of light from darkness. This is a painting done by Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel, and yes, of course, he had some hidden anatomical illustrations throughout the painting. Apparently, if you look closely at the painting, you can find a depiction of the human spinal cord and the brain stem in the center of God's chest leading up to the throat. I mean, it could also be the clothing that he was wearing, but perhaps it's not. Perhaps he was trying to say that it's possible that God was a human, or perhaps he wasn't. <coughs> But I suppose that's what's cool about art. After the artist has finished, it is up to you to decide what it means to you. In our number nine spot, we have Cafe Terrace at Night. This is a beautiful painting that was done by the very great Vincent van Gogh in 1888. The painting depicts a cafe at night in a beautiful French city. But upon further glance, a van Gogh expert proposed a different theory. If you look at the man standing up in white, he looks like he could have long hair like Jesus, and he's standing around 12 men that could be his disciples, and one of them is slipping into the shadows, which could be seen as Judith. Oh, apparently there also seems to be a bunch of crucifixes throughout the painting, including one right above Jesus's head, and that leads us to believe this theory even more. Fascinating. In our number eight spot, we have The Ambassadors. The Ambassadors is a painting that was done in 1533 by Hans Halbiet. <laughs> by Hans Halbianeth Younger. At first glance, this is a nice painting. You know, it's two rich looking men that kind of look miserable. <laughs> That's what I originally saw at least. Anyone else with me? They look like they would rather be doing anything else but posing for a photograph. Anyways, if you look down at the base of this painting, you will see what appears to be a sideways skull. People believe that it is a reminder that death is around the corner, but personally, looking at the faces of these men, and perhaps they have experienced death most recently, and that is why they appear to be so unhappy. Hmm. We'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. In our number seven spot, we have the music lesson. This painting was created by Johann Vermeer in 1662 to 1665. This painting has become known over time for perhaps its secret symbols of sexuality. In this painting, the woman looks like she is gazing down at the keys of a virginal, an instrument that is associated with female purity. However, apparently she is actually looking away from it, perhaps to meet the gaze of her instructor. Ooh, scandalous. This is shown by looking closely at her gaze in the mirror above her. Was this depicting a secret affair perhaps? There is also wine on the table that is considered an aphrodisiac and the instrument on the floor looks like it could also resemble a male's reproductive part if you know what I mean. So perhaps there are one or two secrets hidden within this painting. In our number six spot, we have View of Shaveningen Sands. This painting was made in 1641 by Hendrik van Anthonissen, and for quite some time, it had a mystery to its viewers. People would look at the painting and think, what the heck are all the people on the beach standing around and looking at? It took 140 years for someone to remove a coat of yellow varnish while restoring the landscape, and this revealed that underneath there was a large whale on the beach, and that is what everyone was looking at. Wow. This is only a recent discovery in the last 10 years, and finally, this great secret has been solved. I wonder why the painter may have covered up the whale in the first place, though. Perhaps it was so that he could have a hidden secret within his painting. That's what I would do. In our number five spot, we have the Garden of Earthly Delights. The Garden of Earthly Delights was created between 1490 and 1510 by Hieronymus Bosch. This painting is truly epic to look at. It kind of blows my mind and makes me feel like the secrets of the world are hidden within it. In some areas, there looks like there are insect people, one specifically on a golden throne-like chair. Then there's a witch and then there's just normal humans. A secret within this painting was only recently found by a college student, funny enough, and it's that if you zoom into the left-hand corner of the piece, you can see a musical score tattooed across someone's behind, and that student even translated this and put it online for people to listen to. I personally actually listened to it, and it was awesome. 
would recommend Googling it. In our number four spot, we have The Persistence of Memory. This is a painting done by Salvador Dali in 1931, and it is truly a sight to see. In this painting, you see a bunch of melting clocks that most people believe is an ode to Einstein's theory of relativity, as Salvador was known to be a very wise, surrealist painter. But apparently, he was once quoted as saying that the clocks were inspired by gooey cheese. Quote, the melting clocks are nothing other than the tender, extravagant, and solitary, paranoid, critical camembert of time and space. I suppose you can get inspiration from everywhere. <laughs> in our number three spot, we have Madame X. Madame X is a painting that was done in 1884 by John Singer Sargent, and it is a painting of a Parisian socialite by the name of Virginie Amélie Avengino Goutreau. Wow, okay. I'm proud. Apparently this painting had an original secret where one of the straps was falling off of her dress and it was believed that the painting scandalized the upper class society. John repainted the straps and renamed the painting and even moved to avoid embarrassment. Wow. Was this his 19th century way of revealing that she's rather promiscuous? If so, I'm here for it. Who knows, maybe he was having a secret affair with her and that was his way of telling others. In our number two spot, we have the prophet Zechariah. This is yet another work by Michelangelo where there is believed to be some cheeky hidden secrets throughout. The painting was done in the Sistine Chapel in 1508 to 1512. The other works that we talked about in this list and in part one of this video showed that perhaps Michelangelo put some wise ideas in his works. But this painting shows that perhaps he was feeling a bit cheeky when he was doing this painting as it is possible that the young boy on the prophet's back is doing a sort of flipping off gesture <laughs> of that time. It looks like he has put his thumb between his middle and index finger and yeah, that's the 16th century equivalent to giving the middle finger. <laughs> If this were to be true and the boy is gesturing in this way to the prophet in the painting, this could very well reveal Michelangelo's true feelings about the Pope, they say. Ooh, 16th century gossip. This is starting to feel a little bit like Bridgerton, but you know, 16th century. In our number one spot we have, of course, the Mona Lisa. Da Vinci's Mona Lisa is certainly one of the most famous oil paintings in the world. Famous due to its mysteriousness and people have wondered for centuries what the heck was going on within her as her facial expression is the most curious. Without a doubt, she was a woman carrying a secret. The painting also holds the Guinness World Record for the highest known painting insurance in history, around just, you know, the small fortune of $870 million. Pennies, basically. Pretty well. <laughs> this painting was made around 1503 to 1506 and has some speculation around it, including some believe that Mona Lisa was pregnant and that her holding her tummy depicts the secret, as well as the veil she was wearing was off often worn by pregnant women. It was also discovered that there are numbers and letters in her eyes. L was in her right eye, believed to be the initial of the painter himself, Leonardo, and S in the left eye, believed to possibly be the first letter of the woman in the painting, which would totally debunk who people always believed her to be, Lisa Gherardini. The number 72 is also seen in the left eye, which could be a biblical reference as the number seven could mean the creation of the world, they say, it took God, you know, seven days to create the world. And number two represents duality, male and female. The number's significance just makes me believe even more so that she was pregnant. Maybe the S represents the initial of her future child. Who knows? Well, that's all the time I have for you today, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I'm your host, Melissa Milotti. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Milotti. And I will see you next time. As always, have a good day, sir. By hands, <laughs> why, why, it's so hard. Why can't, why can't they just like 86 the middle names and just be hands younger, you know what I mean? Hands Hall Beaneth, by hands Hall, <laughs> Chris help me, <laughs> I hate myself, okay.